This is pretty something. I've never seen anything like this before. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Steve from Rockstar Eater coming to you with another rockin' episode. And guess where I'm at today? I am out here in Palm Springs. Oh yeah, it's blazing hot, it is summertime, and I'm gonna be doing a food tour in this city, kicking it off with this special spot called La Bonita's Mexican Restaurant. This restaurant is pretty cool because according to Yelp, it is the highest rated Mexican restaurant in Palm Springs. Mexican food is fairly popular in Palm Springs, so if you guys are looking for this specific cuisine, then I think you found your spot at La Bonita's. And also, if you're new to this channel, take a moment right now to hit that subscribe button, as well as the notification bell, because I post these food and travel videos weekly you don't want to miss out on. So go ahead, do that right now. And in the meantime, I'm going to be heading into this restaurant, and I'm going to be trying some Mexican food to kick off Palm Springs tour. So we've been here about eight years, me and my family, this is our business. What makes the food here special is of course we put the love into the food. And we're a little twist on the Mexican food where we infuse the California side and the freshness side into it with our own little twists here and there, you'll see later. And once again, highest rated Mexican food on Yelp. So I am not making this up. You see they got a lot of great starters. I heard their guac is pretty good and then their specials, which is pretty much all these tacos. Yeah, they're known for their cheese shell tacos. And look, they even have chimichanga down here. Isn't that pretty cool? I think I'm gonna try that because I don't know if I've ever had that before. And burrito bowl is also a bestseller here from what I heard. And then if you want your drinks, like your beer, margaritas, they got it. All right, so what do we got coming up first? The chimichanga. So this is the carne asada, which is pretty much beef. Correct. Man, and chimichanga is one of your best sellers here, right? Yeah, popular. Very popular. So I guess the reason why they call it a chimichanga is that it's deep fried, right? Right. Okay, like a fried burrito. Correct. This is shredded cheese mixed with hot Cheetos that are ground up. Whoa, no way. And this is gonna be a hot Cheeto cheese shell. So you're saying that this cheese is supposed to become like a crispy, right? Right, you'll see. Oh yeah, I see it. So that's the cheese uh, yeah. taco? Hot Cheeto. Hot Cheeto, that's the shell. Yeah, you'll see it's still gooey cheese in the middle. Okay. And it's not made with flour or corn tortilla, right? No, no tortilla. Wow, that's innovative. Oh, I think that's it. It's done, yeah, it's a fried burrito. So I guess we got a carne asada and we got some what, chicken. chicken. Chicken, okay. Okay, gotta have your avocado too. Hot Cheeto fairy dust. Okay, that's what you call it, fairy dust. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so based on what I'm seeing, it looks like a lot of these dishes have that authentic Mexican look to it, but then it has like its own unique twist. So it's very creative and it looks very tasty too. So I pretty much got all of their most popular best-selling items here, including the chimichanga. Oh yes, this is a pretty much a burrito, a fried burrito. And it's stuffed with pinto beans, cheese, and topped with pico de Gallo, sour cream, and avocado. This is the burrito bowl, so it's a burrito without the tortilla. Pinto beans, cheese, rice, lettuce, pico de gallo, avocado. You have your choice of chicken, beef, or shrimp, and I got mine with grilled chicken today. This one is their fresh guacamole and chips. I like how the guacamole comes in this bowl-like shell. That's pretty cool. Oh yeah, look at all of these tacos I got here, uh-huh. So this is their popular double shell taco to the right, which has a hard and soft shell. And you can have your choice of beef or chicken. I decided to get mine with chicken. And the center one is the quesadilla taco, which I got with the beef. And to the left, that one is a bonita taco, which is kind of like your average street taco from what I heard. 
Wow, I'm pretty excited about this one. Look at the one to the right. That's the cheese shell tacos. No tortillas for this taco. This is their signature taco. So that shell is not made of tortilla. It's purely cheese. But then look at the one to the left. That is the, uh, let's see, hot Cheetos. Yeah, I can tell because there are all those hot Cheetos on top. And this one is their grilled Mahi Mahis. Yes, they have the fish that is freshly grilled, topped with a mango salsa, very tropical. And it does come with beans and rice, so it is a complete meal. Um, Tastes so fresh and so crunchy. It's made perfectly, like the perfect creaminess and not too salty. Not too limey either. It's just about right. And along with your chips, you do get three kinds of salsa. The one all the way to the top, I believe is the mild one. And then it goes to medium, the green color, and this one, the habanero. It's supposed to be pretty hot, so just letting you know. It's not too bad. I think it slowly creeps in. But that I could definitely handle. I don't know if this burrito bowl is something that you would actually find in Mexico. Maybe it's more of a California thing, but I don't eat burrito bowls that often, but I've heard a lot of great things about this one. Whoa, it's good flavor. That chicken is so juicy and so moist. So you got your proteins, you got your veggies, you got your beans in here. Oh, good stuff. I think this is the first ever time in my life I had a double shell taco. You see it? Have you ever seen anything like that before? Fuck, cold mud. This is cool. It tastes good. I like the contrast of flavor between the softness and the crispiness. Oh yeah, you should definitely get this here. I'm getting this here next time when I come back. These fish tacos look so fresh and they grilled the Mai Mai. So yeah, that's a pretty big deal. <laughs> it's like falling out. So yeah, you got the fish in there. You got the fruity sweetness of the mango in there. It's a very refreshing taco, like a very tropical tasting taco. So if you guys are into that, you should definitely get this. I don't think you're supposed to pick this whole thing up and eat it, even though you could, you see? Look at that, isn't it crazy big? They give you this. So you're supposed to cut into it and eat it. Oh, it's enjoyable. I think this is my kind of burrito because I've said many times in the past that I've really liked deep fried foods. So it almost tastes like a really big taquito in some ways, but just filled with a lot more stuff. I suppose if you really wanted to, you could just try to take a big bite out of this one. I think that's a more fun way to eat it. This hot Cheetos taco, the shell is made purely of grilled cheese. So there's no flour or corn tortilla on this one. Okay, I could already tell this is my favorite one here. And this one I got with the carne asada, which is really nice. Oh yeah, I would totally get this one again. Everybody comes to get this hot Cheetos taco and it is amazing. I cannot tell you what, what a great replacement this cheese shell is. It's like, I don't even miss the flour tortilla anymore. It's like, just give me a crispy cheese shell with all my tacos and I'm going to be good to go. Oh man. So if you don't like the hot Cheetos, you could get the regular cheese shell taco, which I think should be pretty good too from what it looks like. Wow, this one's good too. I still prefer the hot Cheeto taco, but this one would be like my second one. I've never seen anything like this in LA and it almost makes me want to drive all the way to Palm Springs just to eat this one, yikes. This is their house special jalapeno jam. They house make it here. I've never seen this in a Mexican restaurant before. Truly amazing. It's sweet, it actually does taste like a jam. You know, like a fruity jam. Okay, I didn't expect that. 
I thought it was just gonna be like a firebomb in your mouth, but it's actually pretty pleasant. Okay, talk about innovative food. Working my way back to try some of this beef tacos, carne asada. I feel in some ways that this is a step backwards because after having the hot Cheetos taco, it's like everything else is not as climactic. I mean, but still, if you're more of a traditionalist, it's really solid beef tacos. I mean, this would be good for any occasion, truly. It's not quite like the Mexican food in LA, but it definitely has its own personality. Like I said, the tacos, like the cheese tacos, hot Cheetos taco, my favorite thing here, total knockout. I would totally come back just for that. I mean, even the chimichanga is like so, wow. I mean, I really like that. I would definitely get that again because I just love like fried stuff, like the fried burrito. So yeah, when you come to this restaurant and you don't know what to get, just get, get the stuff that I got because these are some of the most popular items that you can find on the menu. They're best sellers and I don't think you can go wrong with it because everybody pretty much gets it here. Uh huh. All right guys, so before I close out this episode, I wanna give a shout out to Alex once again, the awesome owner here at La Bonita's. So when you come to this restaurant, tell him and the staff that you saw this video and he's gonna hook you up with something very special. What is that, Alex? Free guac and trips, just mention him. Yeah, that's right. They're really awesome too. Anyways, thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll see you all in the next food adventure.